Hi, I'm Robin, a lab demonstrator here at Vancouver Community College. Today, I'm going to go over with you how to use this Zeiss Axiostar Plus compound microscope. To turn the microscope on, we have an on-off switch. When that's turned on, a light bulb goes on in the field diaphragm here. Right above the on-off switch, we have an adjustment knob. So it's basically a dimmer switch for the light bulb. Moving along here, we have the focus knobs. So we have coarse focus and fine focus. The focus knobs basically move this, which is the stage, up and down. The coarse focus moves it fast. The fine focus is more delicate movements. And that will help you bring your slide into focus. We have the XY adjustment knobs that adjust the stage. Here we have our three objective lenses. We have a five times lens, 10 times, and 40 times. These just progressively increase the magnification on the specimen. You can also see they get closer to the stage as you go up in power. Okay. Here we have the ocular lenses. This is the part that you look through when you're looking at your specimen. These lenses give you an additional 10 times magnification. This is why the magnification shown on our objective lenses is actually 10 times the value we see there. When you first go to use the microscope, you will usually adjust these oculars so that when you look through them, you just see one circle of light. The top part of the microscope that holds the ocular lenses can be used two different ways. It can be used the way we have it right now, facing away from the controls. This way was traditionally used in the situation where you might want an external light source shining down on your specimen or shining up on it. Uh, the other way it can be used is turned around in the other direction. To use it that way, you just loosen the screw a little bit, turn it around and tighten it back up. Okay. The advantage of using it this way is that then you're facing all of your controls and it's a little easier to use. The downside is if you uh, loosen the screw a little bit too much, you risk pulling this part off. So just be careful when you do that. We're just going to look at a few additional parts here. We have the field diaphragm down here. This is the place that the, we have the light bulb. Um, there's a little diaphragm above the light bulb that lets more or less light out. Okay, so there's an adjustment for that at the bottom here. Right above that is our condenser unit. That helps to focus the light through the specimen. We also have a lever for the iris diaphragm right here, and that will also help with focusing the light. We have these little screws here too that will help to center the light. When we do Kohler illumination, we'll come back to these parts.